the Eater of Worlds versus the Ultimate Assassin of Universe 6, as I do want to go on ahead and welcome you all to another awesome Dragon Ball What If battle involving both Moro and Hit, and having to place both of these individuals in a fight to the death, as I do want to go on ahead and ask you, between Moro and Hit, who do you guys have in the comment section below, as this is a very tricky battle, but if Moro is able to do the exact same thing he was able to do against Goku and Vegeta, and that's draining their energy with out hit even knowing that then I do think that the fight would lean more towards Moro in favor because if Moro is able to constantly just take Hit's energy without Hit being able to understand as to what Moro is doing, then essentially Hit really wouldn't have anything to use as a spare to fight against Moro if he simply bled out of energy. But the only considerable factor here is Hit's time skip, his time cage, and many of the abilities and techniques that Hit possesses that's considered a hacks in a way because if Hit were to land a few time skips, I think that it would essentially spell disaster for Moro as I wouldn't really see any sort of alternative solution to where Moro can escape from this, which I do believe that the one thing that would give Hit the advantage is the ability to use the one-shot attack in having to penetrate Moro's heart, or if he would be able to use and increase his time skip so much so that it completely throws Moro off his game and Moro isn't able to use his magic to his ability, which again, I do think that in this fight, what really favors Moro is his magic. It really isn't his powers, just like for Hit, it really doesn't boil down to Hit's power, but more or less his techniques, his skills, and that's what makes this fight, I think, very dangerous and most interesting because neither one of these two are exceptionally as powerful as a God of Destruction or Jiren or Mastered Ultra Instinct, but they possess so many abilities, hacks, and techniques that would literally place them above the mantle in terms of being a formidable opponent, which is why I want to ask all of you guys as to who you guys think would win and why. To which I also want to get your thoughts in the comment section below as to which one of these individuals do you think possesses the greater hacks, because it's a most interesting fight to see what these two would do against each other considering the fact that they have abilities and techniques and moves that aren't normally traditionally used in Dragon Ball, which is why I think this fight would be epic, but if Moro is somehow able to steal Hit's energy and is able to somehow manipulate the environment around him and possibly even evade time skip entirely, then I do think this fight would more or less favor Moro in the long run, but unless Hit capitalizes and executes on the time skip from the beginning, along with incorporating the time cage, then I do do think that Moro would essentially be finished as he wouldn't be able to do anything against someone that's able to manipulate time and keep him in check in an endless loop of time cycles just like he did against Jiren. But in the end, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below between Hit and Moro. Who do you guys think will win in the death battle and why? Thank you all so much for watching guys. Once more, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload. If you guys love Dragon Ball and gaming, be sure to go on ahead and slap a big fat like down below onto this video, along with dropping your thoughts and suggestions in the comments down below. Check out the official Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai HD playlist also down below guys. Thank you all once more for watching and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day everybody. Peace!